Good evening, everybody. It's 8.15 p.m. on March 20th. First day of spring. Happy spring, everybody. Winter will be over soon around here, thank God. And it's time for another shop update video. And we got a bunch of stuff on the workbench this evening to talk about. So let's get to it. First of all, you see this big all-in-one in front of me. <coughs> Excuse me. It has a problem with an intermittent blue screen of death in Windows. Now, the current issue that I have with diagnosing these particular blue screens of death is this particular computer was not set up properly to begin with for me to diagnose the blue screens. Therefore, I've missed a lot of data. The data that I need to diagnose the blue screens was never recorded because of the incorrect settings, which by the way, by default in Windows, the way Windows is set up will not record the data you need for accurate diagnosis of a blue screen of death. I have changed the settings, but I don't think this thing is going to blue screen on me before too long. Therefore, I think this is going to have to go back to the customer after I complete the second part of the job that he's asked me to do. And I'm going to have to wait until this thing does actually throw some more blue screens to get the problem diagnosed correctly and accurately in this particular case. And I will bring you back whenever I can do that and fill you in on exactly what's going on here. I do know this, it is not defective memory. And over here, we see a laptop that's in pieces. And the reason this laptop is in pieces is because the hard drive has been removed from it. In fact, those of you that are more technically inclined may realize that there's a couple of major parts missing out of this laptop. The hard drive is unfortunately defective. And this particular hard drive failed rather rapidly. It was literally fine one day and not fine the next day. I received an email from its owner complaining of what she thought was failure to boot up. Well, as it turned out after getting on the bench, it was not a failure to boot up issue. It was a very, very, very slow to boot up issue. This thing literally probably took 10 minutes to boot into Windows. I saw that and I knew right away what was wrong and I said, whoa. And I shut this machine off immediately and started to disassemble it so I could figure out what I was going to need. When you have a hard drive that's in a severely degraded condition as this one is, time is of the essence if you want to clone it, which is what I'm going to try to do here. I'm hoping that I can clone this hard drive, thereby preserving all of the stuff that is on it and saving the customer some money. I will bring you back when I receive the part for this laptop, which should be on Friday afternoon. This MacBook, it's been here a while. It's going to be a long-term project. 
And the problem here is its owner has forgotten the password to get in the MacBook, which would not be a big deal. I would be able to use the Apple password reset utility, except for the fact that the owner also enabled the full hard disk encryption on this particular MacBook. Oops. And did not write down the recovery key. <coughs> Second, oops. Third, oops. Data was not backed up. And there is some data on here that is absolutely irreplaceable. And I am trying to do my best to get this data re retrieved for the owner. Which means the only option that I have available at this point is to try and actually determine what the password is. And in order to do that, we basically have to throw a bunch of words at the machine and see if we get lucky enough to guess the password. Yes, this takes a lot of time. I'm spent most of the day actually actually just getting set up to do this and again I will bring everybody back when I have some more info this one should be interesting as always feel free to rate comment like Subscribe. As I said, I'll bring everybody back when I have some more updates. I will see everyone next time. See you all soon. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye.